Thursday night. He's 9-1 with a 1.98 goals against and a 9.37 save percentage. Hit off the draw, Hache drilled into the boards as the Bearcats work the puck around and out. Picked up by Lance Aleve at center with some speed. Jacob Smith going towards front of the net. Shot comes in just wide on the near side, gathered by Smith. He throws it back to Colby Lance Aleve. Thrown towards front of the goal, right through the blue ice. Wilkinson got a piece of it, goes to the far boards, however. Jordan McNaughton was in off the blue line, picked up the puck, now throws it over to Phil Fife. Around the net for Jacob Smith, working out in front to Fife. Shot scores! <laughs> Phil Fife left on mark to the front of the net. Beautiful pass by Jacob Smith. And just a minute and 18 seconds into this game, the Bearcats are on top. It's 1-0. Now pass over to Clark. Fakes a shot. Pass over to Bernier. Now quick pass over to Blanchard. Had a wide open cage. Went off the heel of his stick. Now the puck gets flipped up into the side of the goal. And we'll have a face off here. Blanchard missed a wide open cage. Daniel. Cross ice for Morrison. Couldn't quite take that pass. Hache in on him. McNaughton. Unable to gather the puck. Belisiani with the shot. Whistles that one just wide. Morrison was manning the blue line. Gets the puck, now pass over to Jordan McNaughton. McNaughton fakes a shot, holds on. Over to Poliziani. Throw it intentionally wide. Brandon Pye, over to Morrison. Morrison, back to McNaughton. 45 seconds left here. Shot comes in, saves made, scores! Wilkinson made the first save, but Brandon Pye sitting on the doorstep. Just able to send that puck past the left pad. Of Wilkinson, it's a power play goal, and the Bearcats lead this game two to nothing. Puck now will be picked up by Comtois. Comtois in into the crest of Festerini, then Comtois throws, I believe it's Poliziani down to the ice. As Thierry Comtois took that shot, he went just to the side of the goal. Poliziani was with him. Not sure what led to that. But Comtois just dumped Poliziani. Here come the commandos. Newcomb. Centering pass. Save is made. Two saves by Festerini. And the goal is waved off. Festerini made two saves. The whistle went. A couple of the commandos had their arms up in the air. It doesn't look like there's a whole lot of protest here by the commandos either. Festerini made the first save. And the Bearcat end with 8.18 left here in the second period. Comtois once again thrown into the face-off circle. Dallaire comes in. Wins it clean back to Clark. Pass over to Newcomb. To the corner. Poliziani is there. Poliziani got hit. Commandos keep possession. That shot. Save is made by Festerini. The rebound. He cleared to the far boards. Sharp angle shot by Bernier. Save made once again by Festerini. Delaire. Drop pass for Comtois, then to the corner. Back to Comtois, that centering pass. He knocked to the boards. Now throw a breakaway. It's a four on two down the ice. Kyle Thibault cutting it on goal. Takes a shot. Save is made by Wilkinson. The rebound will go to the boards. Turning around, Phil Fife gets hung up, throws it behind the net. Bounces off the boards to the far side. Poliziani goes, or rather, Lance Leave goes back to Poliziani at the point. Fife couldn't get to that puck, but he will keep it in this time. But Dieppe, dump it out to the neutral zone with 7.19 left here in the second. Lead pass hits Poliziani. He has Kyle Thibault over to Thibault. Takes a shot. Scores! Lance Leave in. Got a beautiful pass. Right onto the stick of Kyle Thibault. He makes no mistake with the shot. And just like that, it's 3 nothing Truro. Smith, nice little move to let the pass get over to Morrison. Knocked off Morrison's stick, then he gets just nailed by Thierry Comtois, who's looking to hit somebody. Gives Morrison a slash, fell down on his own. Thibault gets knocked down, stands up and knocks Meredith down. Will be a penalty against Thibault. A couple of the guys for each team now. Just starting to run at each other. 
It's going to be an interference call. Parsons with the pass ahead to Blanchard. Blanchard lost a handle on the puck. Perigo trying to keep it pinned up against the boards. Feliziani. And Poirier keeps the puck in. Turns around. Back towards the blue line. Over to McDonald. McDonald winds and fires. Scores! Festerini got a piece of it, but not enough. And there goes the shutout. It's a power play goal for the Commandos. Not sure if that shot was tipped or not. Pretty sure it went clean through Festerini. Had some traffic in front of him. With some speed. Carrigo gets spun around. Lost one of his gloves. He stays on the ice. That shot comes in. Now Festerini hits Comtois. And now we're finally... It looked like Comtois was finally going to drop the gloves. Festerini taking exception. The number 19 being right in front of him. And giving him a shot. After making that save. And Comtois now is being sent to the penalty box. Shots are 11 to 6 in favor of the Bearcats in this period, 34 28 overall. Back of the line, McNaughton over to Poliziani on the near side. Poliziani's shot was looking for a tip in front that was blocked by Poirier. Poirier gets drilled into the boards by Boudelier. Puck went out towards the front of the net, sent down the ice by the Commandos. Wilkinson, it appears, will stay between the pipes. And the Commandos will look to regroup in game number four back on home ice. It's coming up on Monday night. Poliziani skidding around with the puck. The Bearcats just killing off the rest of the clock here. Snow comes in and hits Poliziani. Morrison racing ahead, trying to get the feed. Too far for him. It'll go just wide. And icing against Truro. Just 7.1 seconds left here in the third period. No one to take the face off for the Commandos, but it's won by Boudelier. And that will do it. The Bearcats close out game number three of this Kent Cup final. And after the play, Boudelier being held back a little bit. Snow starting to jaw with Brandon Pye, and I'm assuming with Boudelier as well. Curtis being held back as well. Combs welcomes into the penalty box area. He heads off. The Commandos losing their composure here in the third period. Final shots on goal 34 28 for the Bearcats overall. 11 to 6 advantage in this period. Now the three star selection of this game. Justin McDonald with the lone goal for the Commandos gets the third star selection. Phil Fife with the opening goal of this game gets the first star selection. And number 81, Colby Lantelli with two assists in this game gets the first star selection. But was very nearly the second shutout for Chris Pestarini in this postseason. So that will do it for our broadcast here at the Community Credit Union Arena, the Rath Easley Community Center. Game number four, as mentioned, is Monday night back at the AJL in Dieppe. Game number five will be here in Truro on Tuesday night. For Duncan playing behind the camera, I'm James Faulkner. The final score, Truro Bearcats three, the Dieppe Commandos one, or, excuse me, the Dieppe Commandos one, Truro take a 2-1 series lead.